Hey guys, I just got sent this really good looking lighting plot and I've gotten a lot of terrible plots lately. So I just wanted to go through this, kind of highlight some key elements of why it's a good plot, what you should be looking for or what you need to be doing when creating your own lighting plots. Okay, so just right off the bat, you gotta have your LX, your pipes labeled. Uh, it's a little thing, you know, I could still do this show just fine without it, but it's nice to uh, have all your pipes labeled because when you show up the day of, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to delegate that. I think a legend, a key, is the most important thing in a lighting plot. Because you can have a great plot, you can have the addresses, you can have the universes, you can have where they go, but if you don't know what light it is, it's pointless. This legend makes it really easy for when I look at the plot. I can look and I can go, oh, cool, LX2 is R3 beam uh, 700, R3 beam 700, 700 beam, so forth. Yeah, having it color coded is really easy when you're just glancing down. You don't need to look like, because the beam and the 700, they kind of have the same shape to it, but uh, it just eliminates all confusion when you add a little bit of color on the plot. So talking about color, uh, one thing that this plot is great for is uh, its color choices. You can see that we're using black, blue, and red. There's no uh, light colors. A lot of times I've seen plots done in yellow and it's just very frustrating when you're out, you're on the site, even trying to do it beforehand and everything, the lines are just so thin. When you print it off, you lose it. So let's zoom in on the plot a bit here. You can see uh, we got right here in red, it's an R3. Uh, this is, it's fixture number is 301. And the next R3 is 302. And this just helps going uh, from stage right to stage left. Just above the fixture ID, uh, we then have the patch. So included in this patch is a universe number and just the DMX address that this light needs to be set to. Same deal on the back truss. Um, you have your fixture number, uh, circuit number, and the uh, patch number. Another thing I love that James does is uh, he's giving me circuit numbers. Uh, James has done all the math, he's done all this. This rig lives in a 53 foot trailer the whole summer and every weekend it goes out on a show. So everything's loomed, everything's labeled. I know exactly where I'm plugging in on the distro. It's great. So the only thing in this plot that kind of gets murky is um, these beam drop downs on LX3. Um, based on the plot, what it looks like is that you have three grouped together, maybe on a bar, with a T on it, and you got one, you got two, and you got three on the end here. And then same thing on the other side. Uh, that was the only confusing part. Uh, but in the email with this plot, he also sends a rendering. And then the rendering, you can see it's very cool. They're all evenly spaced. It's not these three clumped together. And then you got different levels. Uh, and it's just one pipe that comes down with a little T on it that you hang the light on. Now you take the plot, you flip it over and on the back you have your fixture sheet. Fixture sheet is great. Uh, it's great when you're programming, when you're uh, patching your show. You just go through and he has, you have all your 700s there. You have the fixture ID, you have the DMX patch, you have the DMX mode that they're in, as well as the circuit and location. Yeah, James isn't, uh, he's not a lighting guy. He's actually a video guy. He does a lot of design stuff. And uh, he, he's just so smart in the way that he's like, I'm not going to sit and figure out the DMX patch. He just opened up Granum APC, pull all his stuff in, and then he just copied and pasted it onto the sheet and sent it to me. So for this show, I was brought in as the site LD. I busked uh, two of the openers and the headliner had was fully self-contained. They had their own audio, lighting, monitors. Being able to have this plot, I felt so confident in the rig and I was just able to hand 
literally hand this one sheet double-sided piece of paper to their head LD and uh, I'm like here's our rig everything's correct everything is where it's supposed to be and everything works fine and he just patched he cloned his uh, show and away we went